Hello, and welcome to part 4 of the video lesson for section 8.2 of the PNN Staff Manual. This section is titled Premiere, Your Best Friend, and this video will cover transitions and effects. After completing this tutorial, you'll be able to make smoother edits using transitions and effects. Today we'll be focusing on the bin and the timeline. For this purpose, I'll be shrinking the canvas and the previewer. To resize the different parts of Premiere's interface, you just need to click and drag on the black border around each box just like this. Now you can see that the previewer and the canvas have gotten smaller, and the bin and timeline have expanded. There are also a number of presets for layouts, which can make certain tasks much easier and faster. Check them out under Window, Workspace, and then pick the one that you want. In this case, we'll be using the Effects preset, as we're working with effects and transitions. So now you can see that all the areas have been moved around. The timeline has expanded, the bin has moved up here, as well as the effects tab of the bin. Uh, the previewer has been hidden behind the effect controls tab, and the canvas is now smaller over here. Anyway, let's have a look at another tab in the bin, effects. We're used to seeing this tab that has all of your media. However, effects are also an important portion of assembling your package. In the Effects tab, you can see all of the audio and video effects and transitions. Transitions are f things like fades that help move from one clip to another. Effects are things that change the appearance or sound of your media. The most common audio effects are fill left, which you must use if on interviews you shot with a stick mic, otherwise you'll only hear sound in the right, and some ones that start with D, like D-clicker, decrackler, de-esser, and de-hummer. Moving on to audio tra transitions, there are really only three of them, and so all of them are used pretty frequently. Video effects are all very situational, so it depends on what you're working on, which ones you're going to use. There's not really a most common one. For video transitions, a very common one is under dissolve, the cross dissolve. You'll use this in pretty much any package that you edit. To utilize an effect, just drag it to a clip on the timeline. For transitions, drag to the point between two clips. For instance, if we drag Cross Dissolve, we can line it up so that it is on the um, dance scene and part of it is on the child and grandpa scene. So now you can see that the words Cross Dissolve have appeared, indicating which effect we're using. If we preview it, and we drag through, you can see how it fades slowly from one clip to the other. To change the settings of it, click on the effect and open up the Effect Controls tab. You can see a brief description, and the, the exact settings here will change based on what effect it is. Transitions don't have this, but with effects you can use keyframes to make the options change automatically at different points in the clip. That's it. You now know how to create smoother looking edits with effects and transitions. Some effects are quite complicated and may get their own tutorial in the future, like green screen keying and using keyframes. But most things should be easy enough for you to figure out on your own. The next tutorial will cover sequences and key shortcuts. See you next time!